All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm back to show you how to use Hydrobot, how to invite it to your server, how to play music with it, and some of the more advanced features that make it really nice to moderate who has access to playing music on your server, who can be a moderator, how to limit it to a specific channel, and all of that good stuff. Uh, up front, some information about Hydrobot. It is an advanced music bot that has a lot of neat features that is made in part by the creator of Groovy Bot. You can actually see that if you go down to the bottom of the page here and click on the profile of the guy that made it. You can see it's made by Oscar and he's involved with making Groovy Bot, Hydrobot, and Arrow. And this bot also no longer supports YouTube playback. So if you're looking for a music bot that plays music from YouTube, you'll have to go grab a different one. I have a top 10 video that gives you some different options for alternative bots that still do that. But to become cease and desist proof so that YouTube can't take them down, they only play music from SoundCloud, from Bandcamp, from Deezer, and also from Spotify. So if you have or use those services, those are great places where you can play music from so you don't have to play them from YouTube. That way, this bot won't just magically disappear out of nowhere. You'll know long beforehand. So let's get started. I'm going to invite Hydrobot to my test server by just clicking the big invite button. And one of the things that might pop up for you right now is a login screen to log in to the web version of Discord. Go ahead and do that. There's no reason to freak out. Hydrobot has to be able to log in with your account to know what server to send the bot to and so that you can set up things like permissions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select my test server and this is what it wants to do with my like account information, but it's really just standard stuff. They're not gonna try to steal your account or anything. I'm gonna click continue. They're gonna tell me what permissions the bot wants to use. It's all pretty standard really. I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna click on authorize. And with that, after I prove that I'm not an alien, it will invite the bot to my server and then it'll load the advanced dashboard. Now, since we're already in here, let's talk about the dashboard. Hydrobot has up to four different versions of the bot, if you pay for it, that you can invite to your server. You can also set up what role is the DJ role, and the DJ role is basically just like designating somebody the moderator or the admin just for the music bot. It allows them to skip songs, to add songs into the list of songs directly. Like you just kind of sneak it in at number three and push the rest of the songs down. It can remove songs from the list, all that stuff. They're basically just the, the music bot police. Here you can also select what channel the bot is limited to. I've limited it to the Listen Here channel so that it only appears in that channel. You can change the prefix up here. You can also do that with a command. And then there's some more settings down here that you can mess around with. Like you can set a song duration limit so that some guy can't look, pop in and just queue up a 10 hour long song and leave. So you can limit it to like only up to 30 minutes long or whatever you want to do. And you can kind of see what all these other settings do. They're pretty self explanatory. So. With that out of the way, let's pop over here. So now Hydrobot is in my server. You can see him here on the sidebar. And one of the nice things that you can do with Hydrobot is you can do dot setup. And then Hydrobot will create a special song channel that will be just for Hydrobot to use to come listen and look for what songs you wanted to play. It'll give you controls to use emojis to control the song that's currently playing. You can start it, stop it, loop it, whatever you want to do. And then I can also do dot cleanup. And then Hydrobot will go through and delete all the old Hydrobot commands that are in the chat. So we'll do dot cleanup. And it'll self remove and clean up all the messages so that they're only in the channel you want them to. It's great if somebody tries to play songs in the wrong channel and they make a big messy spam of messages, you can instantly clean that up. And then I'm just gonna pop into the Listen Here channel and we're going to go ahead and listen to some of the songs from Hydrobot. So I just went into SoundCloud and I grabbed some music that won't get me dinged for copyright. I'm just gonna grab it 
some no copyright songs music and we'll just do dot play space the link to the song and Hydrobot will pop in here and it will start playing the music so you can hear it. You should be able to hear it in the video. I don't think these will get uh, YouTube mad at me. And then from here you can see Hydrobot's playing Alan Walker, Fade, the NCS release, and from here I can pause it, I can resume it, I can stop it, and then I can skip around songs and all that stuff. And I can do like a loop as well. On top of that, if I just want to start grabbing random songs and putting them into a list together, you can start seeing that you can instantly create a queue of songs by just telling it to play various songs in order. And then I can just type in dot Q and then it'll tell me what's currently in the queue. So in the Hydrobot channel, it should automatically tell you and update it for you to see uh, what, you know, the list of songs that are coming up. Currently we're playing Alan Walker and you can control it down here. And up next is Suburban. And then number three is One True God, the song Q. So you can see all these really easy to control. And then from here, you can skip forward. You can set these to loop or shuffle. And there's also chat commands that you can do all of these with as well. And then you can see as I skipped the song, it deletes the old one. And then you can see what's coming up next after that. Now for some other fun commands that might be useful to you, there's actually some admin commands where you can actually ban users. This doesn't ban them from the server. This isn't a utility bot, this is just a music bot. And what this does is you can ban somebody who's misbehaving and misusing the bot from being able to queue up any music. So all they can do is listen. You can also try to fix the server region. So if for whatever reason you and the listeners are experiencing lag and Hydrobot doesn't tell you that there's like a current outage or anything, it, everything seems like it should be fine. You can type in dot fix and Hydrobot will try to then look for the region settings that have the best quality audio for everybody currently listening. You can change the language. Hydrobot has got language controls for 10 different languages that you can see here. We've got English, Dutch, uh, Spanish, French, Italian, Netherlands, Russian, um, Polish, Turkish. All those languages, I think they're working on some more that you can add, <clears throat> which is really nice. And then what else we got over here? You can change song limits. You can change the prefix both on the dashboard and in, in the uh, commands. You can set a DJ. You can set a different role to be a DJ. By default, it doesn't just assume that the person that has the DJ role with DJ in the name is the DJ. You can manually set it to whatever you want. You can set a default voice channel to restrict it to the, a certain voice channel. All those good things, and I really like the ability to lock off bots to specific channels. That way you don't get this big spammy mess in one or two channels where all the bot controls are, and it gets really confusing what's going on. And then down here, if you really want to, they do have a premium feature where you can pay to have, you know, all those different versions of the bot in up to 15 servers for $9.99 a month. Or you can just use one user premium for about $2 a month. And that lets you use, you know, user premium perks as opposed to just having the bunch of bots on your server. You can just do this instead. And here's what it gives you. Global volume control, 24-7 playback, autoplay, audio effects, access to more hydras. Uh, you get unlimited save playlists and release vote locks for just user premium. This is what this gives you. Uh, it's all right. I mean, I don't really buy bot premiums for this, but if you need any of these features, they're here, certainly. So you get all these different controls when you buy premium, which is kind of nice. But for the most part, everyone can play music. They can look up lyrics. Currently, while they're transitioning away from YouTube, you can't use the search feature to look for songs. But if you know the name of a song, say you know that there's like the name of a song here on SoundCloud or Deezer or whatever, you can just type in dot play 
uh, this Def Kev Invincible. And then it'll automatically find it and toss it in there. Looks like it found Pop Smoke Invincible. Not quite what we were going for, but close enough. Um, so if you know the full name of something, you can just type it in and it'll automatically grab it and play with it. You don't necessarily have to manually link the song, but you still can. <clears throat> so anyway, that has been how you invite and use HydraBot on your server on Discord. It is a mostly free bot that you can use to play music from SoundCloud, from Bandcamp, from Deezer, and Spotify. <clears throat> they are currently in the process of transitioning away from using YouTube so they don't receive a cease and desist, which would cause them to have to shut down. So I know it might be a little hinky at first to get used to using other websites besides YouTube to find your music and play it. But in the long term, this bot will be a lot more reliable because it just won't disappear randomly after about seven days when YouTube decides to take it down. So kind of handy. There will be a few hiccups as they transition, but for the most part, it works fine. I've had no issues outside of the fact that the search function is temporarily disabled. So if you're looking for a great music bot with high quality, this is basically just Groovy 2.0. It's made by the same guy with a team of people that are working really hard to develop new features as they move away from YouTube. Fully recommend it. Check it out for yourself. Links are in the video description for everything pertinent to this video. And I will catch you, or <clears throat> and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.